Hey, yeah, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you a new episode, uh, kind of a Taz Teaches episode, on how to install uh, Forge Mod Loader onto your system so you can play mods uh, and do your own little mod packs and stuff uh, that you can play with yourself and friends and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, to start, you're going to want to go onto the internet and you're going to want to type something in your favorite search engine like Forge Mod Loader. Ah, check that out. Uh, if you do that, you should probably get something that says Minecraft Forge right at the top. The URL for it will be files.minecraftforge.net. That's how you know you did it correctly. All right, so if you go on here, you'll see that we're on Minecraft Forge. You should see a page that looks like this. If not, you might be on a, a fake site. So make sure it looks kind of like this, or at least like this, that you're on files, minecraftforge.net. All right, so if we go down here, we can see our downloads. And Minecraft Forge has been around for a very long time, all the way from 1.1. And you can actually get versions for any of these. Um, the most common right now are the 1.7.10 right here and the 164. That's what most your mod loaders, uh, such as FTB, Technic, ATL, and so on and so forth, use uh, primarily. Uh, there is one for 1.8. However, as you can see, we're on the 1.8. It's the default one that comes up. However, there's not a ton of mods just yet for 1.8. So if you're looking for the maximum amount of mods, probably 1.710 or 164 is going to be what you want. We're going to do 1710 because the mods that I like all work on 1710. So what you want to do is go ahead and select your version. In this case, we're going to do 1710. And now you'll see it changed up here. It now says for Minecraft 1710. Now what we're going to do is scroll down a little bit. We're going to ignore this box because we already selected our flavor. And now we have two boxes down here. We have download the latest and we have download recommended. Now it is, I feel it only fair to warn you that any uh, mods on this or this any of these are going to have a certain level of instability, meaning they might crash your games. But the recommended is less likely to crash your game than the latest. So we're going to go ahead and do the download recommended. Now under this, we have multiple options. We can look at the change log. We have an installer uh, for other types of OSs. We have a Windows installer. We have the Java docs. We have source code and we have universal. Now this is just a jar file. Uh, you might have to know some stuff in order to do that. We're just gonna do the simple Windows installer. So if we click this, it'll take us to a uh, add what do they call it? add fly type page? This one's not add fly, but um, as you can see, it's add focus. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and skip that. And now we have our thing. We're going to go ahead and save it. And it's just going to go on our desktop in a folder called Forge. So show you. All right. Now, now it's all downloaded. We can ignore that. Uh, close you and we can go ahead and close out that. Now uh, what we want to do is install it. Now to install it there's a couple things that can happen. One is you might get a window that pops up saying that you need administrative username and password to install. Mine's going to do that because as a safety thing my default user that I use on my computer has no administrative rights, which makes it harder for me to get viruses and stuff. But I'm going to pause the recording right here. I'm going to enter in that, and then I'm going to show you there's two types of screens you'll get after this, and I will show you both those. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, we be back. So as you can see here, we got a red box down here, and this is because um, this user is my administrator, uh, it's a local administrator account and it doesn't have the dot minecraft folder on it and therefore it comes up saying I can't find it so in this case we get a browse for it and we're just gonna go to users and, and app data local oh not local roaming Sorry, 
and there. So now we have the Minecraft folder selected here. We're going to hit OK. And now notice we don't no longer have that black bar, uh, the red bar, the thing saying it can't find it. So you might get a screen that looks just like this and instantly says everything's hunky dory and good to go. Or you might get that red one. If you get the red one, don't worry. It might be because you're you uh, are running the installer on a different account. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. This is going to go ahead and install Minecraft. And as you can see, really quickly, it did it. Uh, and then we hit OK. So and now that we have it installed, we want to actually launch Minecraft. So we're going to double click it. And if we come into our profiles, we'll see we have an, one called Forge. Um, I usually rename these because as soon as you install a next version, uh, it will actually... Uh, overwrite some stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to select the forge, oh, not HQM, the forge, and we're going to go into the profile editor, I guess, and we could actually just click edit profile here, or if you go to profile editor, you can double click it. And as you can see here, we are running the one we just downloaded, the 10.13.2.12.1291. It found Minecraft, so there's our game directory. Um, and we're just going to give this a name. We'll just call this Taz T E A C A G Taz Teaches. All right. And I'm going to change where the actual game is going to be. I like to keep mine on my G drive. Uh, and we're just going to create one in here called T whoop, T four Z Z T E A T A T S. Did I spell that all right? Yes, Taz teaches. And then if I double click that, I can simply take that Control C. And when I come in here, I can change it like V, like that. Uh, and then I also like to set my resolution for recording. Usually I set it to the 1280 tab 720. Uh, and then I like to keep my launcher open while I play. And that's about all we really care about. One other thing you might want to do is add more RAM to it. Uh, if you have plenty of RAM in your system, uh, this is going to use the maximum of a 1 gig. Uh, if we want more, we can change this to, say, 2 gigs. And then we're going to save our profile. Now, before you want to install any mods onto this, you're going to want to go ahead and run it once. So here we are. We're on Taz Teaches. We're going to click it. And it's going to start downloading some of the stuff for, Fodge, for Fodge, Forge Mod Loader. <laughs> And boop, boop, boop. get that lined up about right. All right, and then once you're here, you'll see that Forge Mod Loader is running, so we're good to go there. Uh, there's our version three mods are loaded. Even though we don't have any mods, you can see they're all related to Forge Mod Loader. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and quit, and now we're gonna go get our first mod. So I'm gonna use a popular one. Uh, that I really enjoy because it adds difficulty to the game. And it's called T -I -N -K, Tinker's Construct for 1710. Now, when you're doing these, I advise you to watch where you're getting it from. Uh, trustable sites would be the Curse ones or Minecraft Form. Ones I don't like, there might be some that are on uh, Minecraft DL I don't like uh, and stuff like that. The most trusted are definitely going to be on Curse, which is the official host of the Minecraft uh, forms and, of course, MinecraftForm.net. So um, we're going to go ahead and do the Curse because that's the actual download. This will just take you to that download. So we're going to do Curse. And all you have to do is come here and click download now. And we're going to put that in our same forge directory as soon as it lets us. And say save. Oh, whoops, I didn't put that where I wanted. Just to make it so we don't have it. Well, let's just open the folder. We're fine. 
All right, so now we have this Tinker's Construct.jar. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and we're going to copy it to our clipboard. And then we're going to minimize this and let's see, we want to go to our actual. This is where we actually told it to put our thing in the Taz Teaches. And as you can see, uh, we now have folders in here that automatically populated. So we want to go inside this mods folder and this is where we're going to paste our Tinker's Construct. And then we're going to launch Minecraft again. Isn't this fun? <laughs> now, it will take a minute to launch again. It's going to actually install some new things. Found a problem with your Minecraft installation. Oh good, I actually wanted this. Um, so sometimes you might get things like this. Uh, as it says here, in order to run uh, Tinker's Construct, you need Mantle. And I bet you if we went onto the page, it would have told us that. But I was being a little silly. So let's go ahead. I bet you if we go to the forum one, it will tell us here. Tinker's Construct, there it is right there. Oh, come on. Uh, you need Mantle. And you can also see here the version you need. So we're going to go ahead, get Mantle. We'll put this where I wanted it originally. <laughs> so we go here. Now we can copy the Mantle. And say copy. Let's go ahead and close out Minecraft. And close. And we copied that. And we want to paste that into here with our Tinker's Construct. So we're going to hit paste. So now that helps. I, I kind of did. I wanted to do that, but I, I actually didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> but I did want to show you uh, that the errors will usually help you in knowing what you need to do. So we're going to go ahead. Now that we have Mantle and Tinker's Construct in there, we're going to go ahead and launch it again. And here we go. It's coming up. And there we go. So now if we come in here, go under mods, we can see that we have mantle in there and we also have Tinker's construct and quit. Just before we end up here, I wanted to show you that inside here we have our mods. When you run it, it adds those mods information to this config directory. And if you go in here, you can see we have Tinker's construct and we have forge chunk loading slime knights not sure that's the mantle uh, but you can come in here and if we right click on that and say edit with notepad or no nope, notepad plus <laughs> plus uh, here you can see that you can actually set things where you can use tinkers gears adds uh, gear cast if other mod provides gears so if you're using things like build craft and things like that you might need to have gears Tinker's Armory, this allows you to make things such as Traveler's Gear, so on and so forth. So you can always come in here and look at these, uh, the configuration files, and tweak it to your liking. So anyway, guys, I think that about wraps it up. We do have uh, Forge, uh, Forge Mod Loader running, and it seems to be working great. So there you go, guys. I, I really do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a thumbs up in down below. Leave comments, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. And until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.